Okay, we're back. This is theCUBE, SiliconANGLE TV's continuous production. We're here at HP Discover. I'm here with my colleague Jeff Kelly, the number one big data analyst in the industry, <laughs> as dubbed by uh, John Furrier, and uh, we'll take it. So, um, we're here with Colin Mahoney, who's the Vice President and General Manager of Vertica. Uh, Colin, welcome back to theCUBE. Thank you, it's great to be here, yeah. as always. Yeah. The Cube just keeps getting better, ah, I it's love it. Fabulous. Thanks to HP for having us here. We love Absolutely. this event. And, yeah. uh, a lot going on in big data. You know, we we met in an airplane, and you really impressed me with your knowledge of, of the market, and uh, you really have an insider's view. But um, so, what's what's new since the last time we talked to you? Yeah, no, great. So the the big announcement is Vertica Six. Yep. We shipped it yesterday. We announced it yesterday, in line with uh, what we typically do. We don't talk about things until it's actually available for customers. So really exciting. A uh, couple key tenets around the release are. Number one, the, the expansion of our flex store architecture so that we can seamlessly connect to multiple data sources. And what that's really about is separating the Vertica columnar storage engine from the analytics engine so that now you can use Vertica, the powerful syntax, the powerful analytics we have against our native store as well against external uh, sources such as Hadoop, other databases, et cetera. So, um, we've learned a lot from our customers uh, over several years. I think a lot of people are talking about big data. They're not all getting it. Um, we have a lot of customers doing very real things. So that's a huge advancement in, in the platform, being able to expand our SDK to take additional sources. And then once that information is inside the platform, being able to do more with it. And so we've embedded the um, parallel R framework, so we now can do all sorts of advanced statistical analysis against the data so that our customers can monetize more. So uh, two key parts of the release, and then the third is that it is HP Cloud ready. So you'll, uh, there was an announcement today on Vertica on the HP Cloud, and you'll continue to see more there, but really it's just about building up this amazing platform that we have so that more of our customers can ask more questions and have more users going against it and get much faster answers. So. Um, you're going to come back this afternoon. Absolutely, right? yeah, I know we we're, we're a little tight it. now, so yep. we'll, we'll, we'll save some of the detail there. So, you know, uh, when you think about big data, it, you know, a couple years ago it was like, what is Hadoop? And then it became, hey, this stuff is real, Hadoop's real, no, really, really, Hadoop's real. And, and now it's becoming, wow, big data is so much more than just Hadoop. Yep. Um, there's all this operational data and enterprise data warehouse information and other stuff that we haven't even thought about. Um, the pie just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. What are the big trends that, that you're seeing that you're trying to capitalize on? Well, I think one of the things about big data is everybody immediately does an inventory analysis of what information they have inside the company. So many customers that we encounter actually have a lot of structured information scattered throughout the organization and they're just not taking advantage of it. So one of the first exercises that goes down is what do we have for information that we might be able to take advantage of? Um, I always use the analogy of Moneyball in, within the enterprises because people want to take information, especially their own proprietary information, that might help them make better decisions. So there's an inventory that goes on, and then you figure out what sources are available, and then how you can do things. And so step one is, what do we have? And step two is, what are the new types of data that we could never access before that we can bring in as part of the big data analytic paradigm? And, and that's really exciting. So how is this different from the old enterprise data warehouse uh, paradigm, uh, where you know people spent months, years sometimes, kind of crafting this pristine data temple, as uh, Dave sometimes calls it, and, and by the time you got that finished, it was too late. Yeah. This sounds like a, you're trying to accomplish some of the same goals, but with a diff very different approach. Uh, what's what's the, what's the, the fl how do you uh, kind of add that flexibility you need? Uh, that the enterprise data warehouse really didn't? Yeah, that's a great question. So you're exactly right. Um, in the traditional model, you would spend months, if not years, just perfecting your schema and your database model and making sure all the data is clean. It is really important to have that and it's really important to, to have trusted information, but the pace of business right now moves mm -hmm. so fast that if you're taking six months to, to get your information and start doing things with it, you're going to fail and your competitors are going to pass you. So what we've done is basically said, we'll give you all the traditional data models and you can clean your data and have it as an enterprise data warehouse, but very quickly we'll give you access to the very detailed raw data. And what we have a lot of companies doing is within Vertica, they've, they're basically setting up three different tiers. So one tier is just the raw data. Mm -hmm. Fire it in, raw form, it's not necessarily super structured, not all sorts of schemas. 
let people go hog wild against it with the caveat that this is our raw data. And then the second tier is a little bit more cleansed, a little bit more like a data model that you would expect in the traditional environment. And then the third tier is absolutely cleansed in the, in, in the, in the traditional sense. And so we believe that we need to give people that real-time access even though the data might not be completely cleansed, it's very powerful because there's a, mm -hmm. a time value of data, uh, but we also need to provide them with the traditional platform as well. And so that's a big part of what we're doing in Vertica 6 and frankly what we've done for a long time. Right. So we, um, as you know, back in I think January, February, Jeff actually spearheaded a report. We quantified the big data market, we took a stab at market shares and we created this pure play construct and we had you guys and, and others, Natiza, Greenplum, uh, Astrodata as pure plays because we felt like you know, we could still see you out in the marketplace as, as quasi-independent companies. Uh, you came out number one um, in terms of revenue market share. Yeah, thank you. What do you have to do to maintain that position? Yeah, so now we're part of HP. So e even though Vertica is still a pure play, I think we're part of a, a much larger organization. And an organization that has so much value from converged infrastructure, to services, to our, our brethren at autonomy from the unstructured data side. And so what we've got to do is maintain that position um, exponentially as if we, we still are the pure play that we are. And truly from a technology standpoint, we are. I mean, mm -hmm. we are still pure Vertica. Uh, but really leverage everything that HP offers because HP has more solutions, more end-to-end -end capability when it comes to big data and more real customers doing things around big data than any other company I believe in the world today. And so we've got to leverage that, but we've got to continue to focus on building out Vertica while we integrate with these other parts and I think we're doing a great job of it. And we continue to build our team, we continue to transform the company into becoming the, the size and scale that, that it really ought to be. Excellent, so I know you got to go. Um, let's, hold it, let's hold it right there and then we'll have you back at, uh, what time? 4.30ish? Uh, 4.30ish, uh, 4.30 today, uh, this is you know, Pacific time, so, uh, so tune back in you know, after your dinner and, uh, <laughs> and watch that segment because we're going to get into some of the, the trends that we're seeing. You know, Colin, I want to ask your opinion about, you know, is there going to be a, 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 a red hat of a dupe? You know, yep. what you're seeing with some of the competition that's occurring there. Sure. How Vertic is going to take advantage of that. Let's talk more about the integration across HP and, uh, and more on Vertica 6. So, uh, if you're game, please come back this Absolutely afternoon. Absolutely game, yeah, All right, looking good. forward to it, thank so you. So keep it right there, we'll let you run, and uh, this is theCUBE, Silicon Angle. Keep it right there, we'll be right back. Thank you. The Cube is this conceptual box, if you will, and we bring people inside of the Cube and then we share ideas. The Cube is a comfortable place. It's a place where people feel happy and are happy to share their knowledge with the world. And uh, we're happy to, to be ambassadors of, of that knowledge transfer.